I'm not going to choose the number. I'm going to let the number choose me. And out of five stars, five being a very good Oktoberfest beer, and the first number that I see is a... Hey, welcome back to the Beer Garden, and the reason, uh, depending upon the year you're watching this video, it is Oktoberfest season, my favorite time of the year to drink beer. And if you're here because you like beer, and let's be honest, why else would you be? Please tap that subscribe button or uh, follow, depending upon the platform you're watching this on, because I have low self-esteem, and the more subscribers or followers I have, it makes me feel really good about myself. I thank you for your support, and oh, by the way, you may hear uh, the Jägerhund uh, barking throughout this particular, uh, it's so distracting, throughout this particular uh, brew review, uh, that is the, the hunting dogs uh, you may hear, uh, because they're all fired up for Oktoberfest season as well. And let's get straight to the beer. Vorsteiner, das einzig wahre. If you don't speak German, das einzig wahre means uh, the only true, which kind of means uh, like the one and only, but it translates directly to the only true Vorsteiner Oktoberfest. Um, this is not one of the big six. They call it a special edition, 5.9% alcohol, a product of Germany, Munich type. I don't know what they mean by that. And here's a little fun fact for you. If you're not familiar with German beers, any German beer that ends in ER, that means that that beer is from that city. So if you take off the ER, you are left with Wurstein, which means this beer comes from Wurstein, Germany. Uh, if you have uh, Hamburger, uh, that means the take off the ER, that means your beer comes from Hamburg. Most cities in Germany brew their own beers and then add ER to it, which means from the city of. So you know it's uh, a beer from that town. I visited a good friend of mine uh, who lives in Marburg and they have their brewery there. It's called Marburger. Uh, of course, take off the ER, Marburg, and there you go. So now you know. Uh, since 17 and 53, so they must be doing something right. I've had regular Vorsteiner on top. There's a bar in southern New Jersey, in Smithville, New Jersey. It's called the Barrymore Tavern in historic Smithville, New Jersey, and they would have Vorsteiner on tap, and it was so cold and it was so good. And that's another rumor I'm going to address about European beer being served warm. Remind me about that coming up in just a second. Let's go ahead and pop the top and see what we got. Listen to that precision German engineering. And we're about to pour into the sold out uh, Beer Snobs Cheap Brew Review pint beer glass. Of course, topped with the official Royal German beer glass deckel. It keeps the flies out of the beer. Time for the pour. Let's pop the top, see what we got. Of course, Wurtsteiner Oktoberfest. I'm looking for a, a sort of a orangish, coppery uh, color due to the malt. A lot of the German beers, you just go ahead and aggressively pour it in there because uh, German beers are known for their big head. And I'm getting, of course, some malt off of it. Uh, the yeastiness that I love in German beer. Uh, time for the liquid to hit the lips. I don't want to drink alone, so grab yourself a beer and let's Oktoberfest. Prost! Ah! Uh, before we go much further, I must recognize the Grand Fig in which we are in the presence of. A lot of you are commenting about the Grand Fig, which we have here. Uh, if you've had Vorsteiner, uh, this is very similar <laughs> to the original Vorsteiner. I would qual qualify and uh, describe this as being more of a fest beer, which is okay. It's great for the fall. 5.9% alcohol, so you got to take it kind of slow. Uh, don't do like I do and just slam the whole thing in, in uh, a matter of seconds. So, uh, if you're put off by super sweet Oktoberfest beers, I think you would like Vorsteiner Oktoberfest. Um, if you like Oktoberfest beers in general, which I do, uh, I think you might like a Vorsteiner Oktoberfest. So, uh, I got a six pack of Vorsteiner Oktoberfest for, I think it was around $9.99. All right, so out of five stars, where would I rank Vorsteiner Oktoberfest das Einzigwahr? 
Uh, I, again, this is one of these where I'm not going to choose the number. I'm going to let the number choose me. Uh, well, I'm going to clear my mind, and out of five stars, five being a very good Oktoberfest beer, uh, I'm going to let the numbers come to me, and the first number that I see is a four, and then I see a point, a two, and then eight out of five stars. What just happened? Uh, 4.28 out of 5 stars show the label Vorsteiner Oktoberfest das einzig wahre Jawohl for a reason. Let me hear your comments down below. Have you had Vorsteiner Oktoberfest? Have you had Vorsteiner the regular? I'd uh, love to hear your comments, questions, concerns, suggestions. I would love to hear your suggestions as Oktoberfest season is nearing an end here in the Wiesen and so Hey, it's a beautiful day. Grab yourself a beer and you drink that beer. Prost.